welcome back to Blood Omen 2. We're both here again. Oh, you, you, you like that, wouldn't you? Yes, I do. And, uh, well, we just exited out of a switch-powered elevator, and now we are about to, guess what, flick more switches. Yes! And fall off the spiral staircases, because, well, that's what I do. Wow, you are really bad at this. <laughs> uh, there aren't exactly a lot of spiral staircases in Russian architecture, so this is my excuse. You know, all you have to do is slightly tilt the stick and, and you can go up. I mean, you don't have to run into a wall to, to go up a staircase. I swear you don't. I'm using a keyboard because I'm too damn scared of a controller. So it's the W key and the mouse. Which is why the camera moves so fast, because normally it does not. Ooh, we have boiling... soup? I guess it's soup. It lo it looks like bacon grease. Mm -hmm. This yellowish whitish substance. Okay, now there's going to be some retarded dialogue. Not my merchants have deliveries waiting. I don't understand the delay. I need my payment. We will not be making any further payments. But our agreement. Conditions have changed. Our agreement has been suspended. I have deliveries waiting. I can't send them back. Throw them into the sea for all I care. Throw them? We won't be needing them. But my contract. I can go to a higher authority over this. I suggest you take your losses without another word and go. I'll talk to the council. We won't stand for this. By order of the Seraphim Lord, you shall do no such thing. Wait. What are you doing? This was a uh, one half assed attempt at world building. Why even bother, really? Yeah, I, I like the kind of uh, the Star Wars sort of the agreement has changed. Pray we don't change it further, sort of thing. There we go. Yeah, well. <laughs> If you're you're lucky if that's what you thought because in my brain there is no such association. I hear the word contract. And contract means a contract because I have been a commercial lawyer and now I'm an investment lawyer so it's just contract meaning I imagine the contract itself like the physical oh, yeah. agreement on pay printed out on paper and that's all I can think about and uh, <laughs> there was no star. I was not thinking about Star Wars at all. Uh, I mean, although I should have. Yeah, it's not hard to think about that either. It's just it is what it is. It's just, it was like, well, they they agreed to this, so there must be a thing, and then it's not. So, see. And I really, I really hate this uh, dissonance between. Uh, atrociously badly written dialogue for main characters, but it's atrociously badly overwritten uh, so th at least they tried to do this, the same thing that the writers for the Blood Omen 1 and for the Soul Reaver games tried to do but badly and everything else where they are not even trying where they speak just like well just like normal people like we do is just out of place mm -hmm. yeah they did not that did not come out naturally at all what exactly? Oh, just how they said everything. I was just... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they're going to be... Uh, uh, there will be a lot worse offenders. By the way, Kane can fall off. This person cannot. I think this is straight up racist. <laughs> just go and do it and... again. No, 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 no. This was for science. Just the... You say that, but somehow I doubt it was for science. No, did you see how I landed on that uh, flaming thing in the middle that serves no purpose? That's my proof. I, I think you're just making something up right now. 
I may be, I don't actually remember what happened here because uh, this was recorded on uh, February 23rd and we are talking over it on April 4th. <laughs> so I am making everything up as In I the go. year of our Lord, 2014. By the way, th this it also pisses me off because this also means that they can but choose not to. In this case, put actual secrets that actually require you to explore that are actually out of place a little bit. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Yeah, and there's like two or three such boxes throughout the entire fucking 25 hour long game. So it, uh, it annoys me. So they can, they just choose not to because they don't give a damn. Which is the worst thing. Yeah. I'm glad you're, you're, you're punching this guy in the face. Because, yes. you know... Unfortunately, I should have... In hindsight, I should have punched him two times and then uh, used the uh, aggressive attack, which is chopping his head off. Chop his head off aggressively. Later in the... Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, later, I will actually learn... I'm not sure what I'm trying to break here. Uh, later, I will learn that it's actually a an easy and a fast way to kill everything. Bodies were found downstairs. The intruder is near. I want you to patrol the courtyard. Yes, sir. I guard the cell. Move out. I guard the cell. He, he did say, I guard the cell, right? Like, not, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I'll guard the cell, or I will, just, I guard it. Forever. And for all eternity. Until you kill him. Yes. Of course, this guy is the highest tier of uh, Seraphan, uh, Seraphan enemies. And of course, he is absolutely no different from everything else. He's just got a glyph armor and he is a bit tankier than everything else. And that's it. Of course, because the most dangerous enemies here are the most tanky of enemies. And that's it. So there's no incremental increase in difficulty, there's no challenge, there, no, you just, you just have to spend more time killing an enemy and then you have to spend more time drinking his blood because that's all this game is. The same crap over and over again that is incrementally longer with every hour that you get further into the game. I completely fucked the grammar up but I hope that I have succeeded in conveying my point. Maybe. Maybe, implying that you... Actually, I can't blame you. I, I wanted to angrily say that you weren't listening, but I cannot blame you. Huh? What, what, what now? Yes. Exactly. Ah, uh, the glyph armor. Yes, the boss. No, this really is the boss for this area. For this entire level. Ooh, you're gonna get some super dark power from him. No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> that fucking scream. <laughs> so at first there are these manly roars. Time to die. <laughs> oh, don't hit me there. <laughs> Okay, the bimbo is here. Kane, I thought no one would dare attempt to rescue me. You are either brave or foolish. You will find me relentless. <laughs> there must be a glyph nearby that powers the ward. Find it and shut it down. What was it that you learned in the industrial quarter? Tell me, in case I cannot free you. Tell you now, before I am freed. What would you do in my place, Kane? I would offer my rescuer a token of trust. That information is for Borador only. Haven't I earned your confidence yet? You have not rescued me yet. Very well. I will return shortly.
I kind of enjoy the sass. Not gonna lie, I kind of really do enjoy the sass. If only it were better written. If only. More or less. You know, this is a switch puzzle. Uh, the one with which I genuinely struggle for about a minute. Oh no. No, no, there is absolutely nothing in here. I mean, out here. We're outside. Or, actually... Damn you, phone. Uh, actually, when you are inside a courtyard that is uh, out in the open, but that is the part of the, bu a part of the building, are you inside or are you outside? Or are yes. you both? Okay, the solution is behind Kane. No, not here. In front of Kane, behind Kane again. Oh snap! Is it is it a, a statue? It's... Yes, it can be moved through Kane's will. And guess what? It is a switch. Woo! Obvious. Yes, totally obvious. Because this secret entrance serves a lot of purpose. Yeah, this the secret entrance is great. Oh. Yeah, remember that uh, in universe these glyph, uh, glyph, glyph. Uh, fuck. These glyph barriers they only block vampires from. Mm -hmm. Okay, now cutscenes. We're done. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. You're hurt. It's nothing. We must get to the roof. Once I am outside these ensorcelled walls, I can use a spell to transport us back to Sanctuary. <gasps> no! At last, what living soul disturbs my order? What creature dares shed the blood of my servants? He had the sword. Soul Reaver, the prize I had won a lifetime ago, was in his foul possession. What is this? You know me. No. You were utterly destroyed. So easily. Your name was drowned in the backwaters of passing time. All your plans were set alight and seared to smoke and ashes. Let those words be your epitaph. You dare dream of killing me. That fantasy was quenched in blood long ago when I defeated you. And yet, you have learned nothing. Such a pathetic creature. Dare you to challenge me again? Die, fiend! No, the king! Your death is fated at my hands. How many times must I teach you that lesson? He is too strong for you, Cain. With the Soul Reaver, he can kill us both. We must flee and fight him when we are stronger. No. Release me. That demon of filth is mine. I am your fate, Cain. Now and forever. However long you delay, you will come to me for your sin. the Seraphan Lord. He showed himself? He is a touch more powerful than I expected. And he has the soul, Reaver. Strange that you did not tell me this at the first. You are not ready to fight the Seraphan Lord, I told you that. It was only by good fortune that we escaped. Vorador, I must speak with you. You have information for us, I know. You may speak. I was in the heart of the main factory in the industrial quarter. Before the guards discovered me, I had found a huge central chamber that housed some kind of magic portal. This portal looked into a place the likes of which I had never seen before. And this portal was held open by a single source of magic 
A stone set on a pedestal. Borador, I believe it was the Nexus Stone. The Nexus Stone? Of course. What is this thing? Explain. The Nexus Stone is an item of great power. It can bend time and space to create doorways to any location within Nazgul. I know not why the Seraphan Lord would be using it within the Industrial Quarter, but we could put it to great use. And what use is that? One who wears the stone cannot be harmed by the Soul Reaver. And is this but a legend, to be proved false at the fatal moment? Oh no, no legend at all. It has been proven. The Seraphan Lord wore the stone when he defeated you 200 years ago. What? How else could he have resisted the power of the Soul Reaver? You were unable to use the sword's power, and without it, he was able to defeat you. Then I shall take the stone and use it to kill him. But know this, when I recover it, I will also claim ownership of it. I trust that is understood. Then you commit yourself to fighting the Seraphan Lord? There can be no turning back. I was committed to that from the moment you revived me. Nothing will turn me away. So be it. You must use the subway to reach the industrial quarter, which lies in the northeastern part of the city. Find your way past the gate that blocks the townspeople from entering. But perhaps we may leave that to your invention. Uma? Once in the quarter, look for the main factory complex. It is there that the stone is held. I will return with the Nexus Stone and the Sarafan Lord's head. <laughs>